Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. The BHP Anglo American takeover, I think we need to really have a, a really deep dive look into because we are into the final week of BHP being able to get it across the line. And they're now going through the avenue that unfortunately history would suggest doesn't always work, which is to go after the shareholders rather than going through the board and appealing to shareholders and basically getting them to overrule the company itself, which brings into focus what happens next. So we know that they've offered an increased bid of $64 billion above the 60 billion they originally offered but it does include quite a convoluted and complex system forcing Anglo-American to divest, particularly their South African assets, anything to do with the Boers, also anything to do with basically coal they don't want to do with. And that in itself, I think, is part of where maybe this is slightly falling down. But, and it is a massive but, it means that there is in-play players out there and BHP is declared that it's got a war chest and it's about to use it. It is very clear also that anything revolved around copper and anything revolved around inverted commas, new metals, is clearly also in play. And I think that, from our perspective, is what we need to highlight here, despite the fact that the BHP Anglo-American deal is quite exciting. My view is what it is saying about copper, particularly that metal, and where the future is. Because for the biggest mining company on the planet to be going that hard, which would be almost nine times larger than what was the largest takeover in that space last year in Oz Minerals across the globe, might I add, shows very clearly, A, we're in consolidation, and B, how exciting that space is. What that means, you therefore can start to highlight anything that has copper exposure or above normal copper exposure inside their portfolio could actually be live. You then need to look around the idea that who has tier one assets in markets that are not exposed to geopolitics in a space that is easily able to get to port. And that would be the next discussion here. Because if Mike Henry doesn't get up Anglo-American, he will go for something else. He will have a plan B. He's an incredible operator and very, very savvy. So that's why I wanted to highlight that deal is that although it may not get up, and it still could, don't get me wrong, I therefore know very clearly that BHP is on the prowl. It is now very clearly declared itself as the predator and it is out looking and hunting for grade one copper assets in particular.